everyone. Uh, this is Mark. Uh, I'm uh, here at uh, Plunge 2021. Um, uh, this is the third third year um, that the comic book expo or comic book convention uh, in uh, Whangarei has been going. Um, I am here with one of the uh, organisers and uh, co-founders, uh, Aru. Um, Aru, how's it been for you this year compared to the previous years? Well, we worked harder this year. I mean, each year we've worked harder and built up harder uh, to be getting to where we are. And the support for my volunteers. And like we've got like uh, girls high students here. There's about 15 of them. who ex- uh, Four of them worked on the banner, right, over a couple of weeks yep. to make this beautiful banner. I'm sure that some, you guys have seen it online. And, uh, and the assistance there. But not only that, we have actually have a messenger group page of volunteers who are organizing this back to home. Now, so I'm the, like the... Co- you know the founder and director of Plunge Convention here in Whangarei, but also we have got J- Shane, who's the creative director, and we have Jason, who's the um, merchandise and financial uh, person who looks after that and accounts. So you know the great thing is that we have amazing business support. We've got Ecos uh, Business Solutions who pr- helped us with a you know with a discounted and f- and free FPOS. We've got Creative Northland who's backed us from the start. Hinu. Like I've put these posts out saying how Hindu and I had a conversation three years ago, 2018, about doing this, and here we are. The other thing is that we've got we had um, event cinema, who, you know, with these posters at the back, um, you know, giving free tickets and stuff, helping our volunteers and prize givings. We've had um, Hal Pizza, who have been amazing support, giving our volunteers lunches, right, uh, and also um, the warehouse with prizes and stuff. Yep. Uh, and so ourselves, we put in like about hundred dollars worth of prizes to give away. You know, I like I, you know, a lot of the, all the printing stuff you see, it's me that's doing all the printing stuff. But the artwork that's being done on that is Shane does that. Like we're launching our comic book this today as well. We're launching an initiative for create kids create a comic, which is we call it our kids comics. A OKK. It's our first time we're doing that. You know, and that started with an idea from one of our children's. Um, thing, um, Children's uh, coordinators, Hannah Mitchell. See, everybody gives me ideas, and I kind of come up with like, what can I? How do I make it better? So even like an idea for a simpler, um, simpler. Hold on. Let, let's talk about um, the comic book uh, that we're here because this is that we've got um, some first issues. Uh, this is the first launch of Incredigirl comic. Um, looks like it's going to be absolutely massive. Um, they are here for sale today, and you can get posters and posters signed by the actual artists and illustrators as well. So a really good opportunity to come down. Talk to me about Incredigirl. How did that come about? So Incredigirl basically started in 2007 with my niece. I was I was creating my own comic book based on a, uh, a crime drama film I did for, st- as for my film degree in Invercargill. In and I, I was turning that into a comic book. And then I also thought, well, I've been a comic collector and reader since I was seven, eight years old. Yep. And you know what? What would be cool is like, my four-year-old niece, who I really missed out on her birth, you know, in the growing up because I was away at film school, I said to her, I said, like, if you had your own comic book character, what would you call her? And this is what you came up with? Yeah, she said, oh, Incredible Girl. And my brother-in-law, um, Les, he goes, uh, bro, uh, I think that's already been used. So what about Incredible Girl? And I went, we'll do Incredible Girl. Nice. Thing. It's, a, it's a comic book created, it's a character created especially for my niece. It's a superhero for Fungare. She's based in Fungare. Her team's based in Fungare. I don't think anybody's ever done that because I wanted. I love my city so much because here I've been here for about almost 20 years now, all right? And that's half my life. So I, I love this area. I love my Northland um, people, Fano, you know, because I grew up in Morrow as a little kid uh, reading Judge Dredd, right, as an uh, eight-year-old. And here I am creating my own comic book because I've been able to, you know, I've, we've tried this for seven, 14 years, 2007 to now, we finally got a print run of this. And this is our first issue, it's on cr- Kickstarter under Incredigirl. Um, but the other thing is that um, we were able, like I was m- mentioning before, we've got like uh, at the back of this, these designs, chibi designs I did because Hannah Mitchell said, hey, it's too hard for the, the, um, the coloring that thing you did for the kids last year. Can you do a more simple thing? So I came up with this, uh, you know, designed this, and now not only do we use it for coloring competition, we've created our own little toy from it. Nice. Uh, now those are the 3D printed toys, is that right? Yeah. So the library, we basically uh, went out and I look, um, um, uh, I think it's Varney. Uh, I said to her, hey, and we started the conversation last year, 
and said, hey, I'd love to see this toy come up because I, I love toys. I collect toys, right? And uh, I've got, you know, a whole wall full of them. And so I said, it wouldn't be cool, you know, if I could get a 3D yep. printed. Yep. So I went and I said to her, can you find someone to, you know, can you do it or can you find someone? She ran out of time. And so she found someone and, you know, we worked through it for about three, four weeks to in time. So we've got, I didn't even bring it, right? Because I think I might have brought it, I might be still at home somewhere. Yeah. But, but like we have 3D printed three inch toys based on that for our, you know, to, sh to give us prizes. Nice. Right. To give us prizes to our coloring cakes. And the other thing is like we're saying about our kids comics. First year, they came out of Hannah Mitchell again. Said, hey, we've done coloring comps, right? That's cool. But why can't we do create, create kids get creative comics? So Hannah's like a real, like she works with kids, right? So she works with, a, um, you know, with kids and so she has a better understanding she works with uh, safer uh, uh, safer cities for kids initiatives and stuff like that so she understands them you know what's good for that so i always let her uh, you know take the run on that and then i go well yeah that sounds cool and then i met talk with Tr trish who i was talking with like talking about getting funding for this right so she ran after um got us funding from the council for the creative communities scheme and i i think you know, something like that is important, but I think it should be more open to more creative initiatives, right? For us, like working hard for three years to build it, I would like to see more money for products, uh, productions like ours and events like ours so that we can make it a more creative venue, a not only venue, a uh, city for more people to come and enjoy what we have to offer. Like, I mean, look, since we started this, we changed our name three times. It was in, um, Plunge Indie Comic Convention, then we went to Plunge Comic Convention. Then we, this year we finally decided, last year decided, you know what, let's call it everything, which is comics, anime, and pop culture, all right? I watched, watched these um, our volunteers here, they come in and like they look at all the stuff we put out. These are things I've put collected over a year to bring to here. You know, they have the same joy for that sort of stuff that I do, and I'm 48 years old, right? I'm like freaking 30 up on them, but we still, you know, like, People, doesn't matter how old you get, you know, um, you still enjoy the stuff. Now, let me... Let, let, I'll tell you what, let, let's talk with the volunteers. Yeah. Um, we've got two volunteers here. We've got... Holly. We've got Holly and... Stella. And Stella, is that right? Or Estella? Stella. Stella. Um, now, you guys are from... Whangarei Girls High School. Whangarei Girls High School. Now, um, uh, the huge banner uh, that people can see when they come and have a look, that is downstairs... Um, were you guys part of helping design and paint that? No. <laughs> no. Okay, but you're here today as what, fans of what, comics or anime or manga? What are you fans of? Just art in general. Art in general? I, I yeah, comics and, but <laughs> I can't say anything. That's okay. Comics in general. Look, that's certainly a great answer. Um, look, thank you very much, Aru, ladies. Thank you very much for volunteering your time. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Aru, for all the hard work that you've done. Guys, uh, Plunge 2021, uh, 116 Bank Street in Whangarei. Get down here today. Uh, super cool. Uh, kicked off at 11, closes around 4 o'clock. Yeah. Closes around 4. Um, get in quick. A lot of stuff selling. We've got the Incredible Girl comic as well. Um, thank you very much for coming, guys, and uh, we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Peace.